And then one day I came upon a shattered glass jar with four baby turtles. This is the NECA Toys Teenage Mutant Ninja Turtles Baby Turtle Accessory Set. After waiting in a puddle of radioactive waste, these radical reptiles are transformed into New York City's greatest crime-fighting quartet. They may be small, but these mighty baby turtles are ready to train in the art of ninjutsu. These highly detailed figures stand approximately four inches tall and come with plenty of accessories. According to the packaging, it says that these are four inches in height. I'm just going to double check with my tape measure. Actually, to be fair, the turtles are a little bit closer to about four and a half inches in height. So there you go. By the way, for some scale comparisons, here they are next to the radioactive canister that we just recently had a look at from NECA Toys. Now, before you say down below, yes, I know 100%, this is technically not accurate. At the beginning of the movie, when or the point where Splinter is narrating the backstory with the Ninja Turtles, the turtles didn't look like this when they were with the canister. In fact, they actually look closer just to the garden variety, regular variety, uh, pet store turtles. But I just thought it would be fun to put them uh, along with the mutagen canister, which actually goes back to something I wanted to mention when we had a look at this, and I just simply not didn't get a chance to, to bring it up. Um, seeing that we've got ourselves the baby turtles here from NECA, it would have been nice also if this canister, at the very least, came with the four small little pet store turtles, and then you could have them displayed, not at the very least with the slime all out, because longevity of that slime would be very short-lived, but at the very least, you could have had the little pet turtles along with the radioactive canister here. Now, as for their accessories, they come with a fair bit. I want to start with this one because this is an exclusive. And to some extent, it really doesn't have anything to do with the baby turtles itself. But it does have something to do with another release that NECA has done. It comes included, or they come included, with the hand for the quarter scale Teenage Mutant Ninja Turtles Michelangelo. Yes, if you go to the channel and you look for my reviews of them, you won't find them. And the simple reasoning behind that is I picked up the Leonardo and I picked up the Michelangelo, but I was unable to find Donatello and Raphael. And I thought I wasn't really doing a true service to the quartet unless I had all four turtles available. So at the time that you are watching this video, there's the nunchuck right there. Uh, I have pre-ordered the Donatello and the Raphael, which apparently are getting re-released along with the the dressed uh, the dressed up the disguised Raphael. Uh, Pre-ordered those, so as soon as I get those, we're going to have a look at all four turtles. So in case you are wondering why I haven't looked at it yet, rest assured the reviews will be coming. So anyways, any who's, uh, you do get the hand for Michelangelo, also with a very obvious hole on the top. Comes also included with the spinning nunchuck, just like it did in the movie. It's free spinning. It doesn't feel like it gets stuck or anything like that. And it's a nice touch. In fact, I may consider even just displaying Michelangelo when I eventually get him opened up and reviewed, displaying him with this, because I think it just looks looks really neat. Again, it doesn't really it's not really intended for the turtles themselves, these ones at the very least, but I like that NECA would have included that. This, by the way, is a is not a cord. If it do, if you do look at it and think that looks like a wire frame, it isn't. It's just plastic, so you don't want to don't want to bend that. Okay, so let's put those aside. And let's talk food. Probably not food you would want want to ingest, as these look like they've been around for a while. Uh, first things first, you get yourself a pizza box. I know what you're thinking. It's not that company. In fact, it's the Tile Game Pizza better delivery but we all know we all know who that's supposed to be the tile game pizza has also included a little coupon there take the tile game pizza survey eat pizza every day delivery or takeout add some tasty but never wasty tile game garlic knots on your next order apparently there's a yes and a no check a box to win what's the question do i like pizza do i like eating pizza I don't really know, but apparently it's yes and no. I don't know why anyone would want to check no. 
Do you want to be added into the survey? No. Thank you. Thank you for giving me this option. Uh, it is pretty easy to remove. It looks like there's just a, an adhesive strip running down the side. It's not obviously a coupon you could use for yourself. But I, I like the fact that the box has a good age to it. It looks old. It looks, especially when you open up the inside here. It's delivering 30 minutes, maybe less. Free delivery. Free delivery. And uh, if we completely close the box, it's not the most secure box, being that it is uh, obviously cardboard. There we go. On the side, name M. Angelo, delivery to 122 18th North, 23rd Street, New York, New York. Delivery date was 9 20 or 9 12 1990. Delivery was made by Tony. Total was owing is $13. We deliver anywhere, anytime, anywhere on time, or $3 off your order. Now, what's interesting though is where it says, it says free delivery. But right here, I didn't think it was $3 off. I thought the pizza was free. I have to double check that. And then you've got the Call Us Tile Game Pizza. Now, if we open up the interior there, a uh, very grease-stained ins insert or very stained interior, and it comes included with some pizza slices. The pizza slices are of a pizza I don't think I would want to ingest myself. It looks like... Well, we would assume that this is just recently delivered, but it looks pretty gross. I see perhaps olives. I see maybe meatballs, anchovies, peppers. There's a sauce bottom to a very nice crunchy bottom crust. And you can fit those inside the pizza box. Now, somebody has been already consuming these because you don't get yourself a full a full box of pizza slices, you actually only get four. I would not probably put them all together. I kind of like offsetting them a little bit so it looked like, you know, it seems like just regular pizza when you get it. People seem to just want to pull off pieces instead of actually pulling them off in a row. I don't know why that bothers me so much. But there they are right there. They look really cool. They look a little gross, I have to admit, but uh, it does look neat. A nice little way to present with the figures. By the way, any one of the pizzas can be held in the turtle's hands. Um, they do sit, it depends really on how you have them holding it. If you have them holding it, hold on one second. <sighs> like I was saying, if you have them holding it with one hand, they hold on to them, but not the greatest. In fact, the best way to do it is have them holding it with both hands. There we go. And you get a nice secure fit there not going to go anywhere on you. We'll put him down just for a second of unnamed so far turtles. Uh, also included inside you get yourself chips from the chips company, corn snack, true crunch and more. And down below it's the snacking corn. Sell by, let's see, March. Is that March 30th? March 30th and it's 90 cents. Seems like this would be a small bag. Inside actually it's just padding. They just put a little bit of padding pillow in there just to give it that that thickness that something you would expect for it to be chips uh, on, on the back side there have chips with juice boxes pork rinds frozen pizza and shepherd's pie rather odd that they would put shepherd's pie there but nonetheless and again you can take that and put it into their hands as well better to have them holding it with both hands much like the pizza because they just don't really seem to hold it all that well one of the things that I have problems with this particular figure line, or this particular figure, these figures, they're really all identical to one another, has something to do with their wrists, but I'll talk about that in a second. So you got a pizza, you got a bag of chips, pizza box, of course you get yourself, I say course, you probably didn't know this, comes with some band-aids too. Two smaller band-aids, two larger bandages. Bandages, I think, would be the ter correct term for this because Band-Aids is the name of the company. It's like one of those weird things like Post-Its. Post-It Notes is actually made. Scotch Tape, another one. It's not Scotch Tape. It's made by the Scotch brand. Anyways, we'll... A topic for another, <laughs> a topic for another review. Uh, they are peelable. You just stick them on the turtles. I don't know if I would actually put them on the turtles, to be all honest. But uh, you do get some stickers to go included with that. Okay, so let's have a look at the turtles themselves. It doesn't really matter which one I grab. In fact, let me grab these two here just to show you. 
there's not that much different between them. Now, if anybody has picked these up for themselves, I know you're gonna, I know what you're gonna say. You're gonna say, well, there are technically differences. Yes, I will give you that because I'm gonna grab this one here just as a good example. Take the pizza slice out of its hands. At face value, they do look identical. However, paint will vary from one to the other, especially when you look at the spots. The placement of the spots will differ from each figure. See how this one has the spots on the top of its shoulder? This one does not. This one has spots on the shoulder. It has four spots. This one only has three. I'm not gonna go through each and every one of them just to show you the differences, but again, if you look at this one here, this one has no spots. It's got one a little bit further down, spots on his forearm, this one doesn't have it. So they will differ at least in the sense of the little small intricacies, those little small details here and there. Other than that though, they're pretty much identical to one another. They're, there's the back of them. Not much different between them. The paint also may drastically change a little bit. You may find Results may vary, of course, but this one has a little bit more of a yellow added to its nose area. This one has a little bit less. Other than that, though, they are all identical to one another. I mean, really, they at this point, they don't have names yet, and they don't have any anything to decipher one from the other. It would make sense that they would all look the same, really. But I do think that they're splendid little figures. The head sculpts are really nice. They have a good bit of happiness to them. They just have no idea what's wrong with the world, the hardships of life. So they're just generally happy turtles. Of course, for the fact that they've got all this food as well, goes a long way as well for how happy they are. Um, they are within, obviously, within their shells. The shells are not removable. Very nice detailing there on the back of the shell portion. Here's the front area of the shell. Nice airbrushing of, it's slightly a darker shade. It's almost like a golden caramel color. Oh, that sounds nice. And then they've just dry brushed a little bit of the darker area of the brown as it gets closer and closer to the larger shell on the back. The paint is otherwise looks like it's a almost a yellowish green color, very light shade of green. And then they've added the darker green just on the details here. A lot of that green. Some of it does, doesn't seem to have any rhyme or reason, but at the very least, they did cover all the bases of at least like the musculature, the little areas of the tendons and the muscle areas of the legs. Here down, down in the lower leg, you see a lot more of the spots and just again, some nice little freckles and stuff like that. They have pickles on the undersides of, of the feet. Actually, all of them do, but I really don't have any issues whatsoever of having them stand. They seem to stand perfectly fine. No issues whatsoever there. Um, as for articulation on all these pieces, now I'll really only look at the one because, well, they're all identical to one another. The heads will rotate all the way around. You can also rock the head back and forth. Pizza! Pizza! Um, and then you can also nod them up and down. The mouths do open, not much though. Inside you do see the tongues but these just very, very moderately open and close. Some of them actually, when you get them out of packaging, their mouths are already defaulted closed and just simply a case of opening. This one actually opens a lot better. Let's see if I can get this one to go here. There we go. Ah, ah, see, this one doesn't open as well. This one opened a lot easier, actually. It makes them definitely unique to, uh, you know, some of them could have their mouths open, some of them could have their mouths closed. You gotta have the heads turned on some of them, some of them you don't have to. That it does make them all separate in the sense of how you're displaying them. They don't have to look all like they're standing and doing the exact same thing. So again, you've got the head articulation, you've got the arm articu articulation, that hinges outward, rotates all the way around. This is the one thing I wish that the figures did have, and it goes back to the topic of the pizza, or at the very least, like the bag of chips. I wish that they had swivels in their arms. I get for the fact that they didn't want to break up the sculpt, but at the very least, they should have had the swivel in the wrist, because I find like the angle of the hands, the hands always kind of sit like this, as opposed to sitting straight. A little bit of moderation. I mean, you can have the hands straight up, but it involves having the arms very close together. If you have the arms out like this, it would be nice that you could then also compensate and rotate the hands as well. There's an interior of what the hands look like. Very chunky, bulbous sort of fingers on them. Uh, leg articulation. 
isn't really there, sadly, I have to admit. At the very least, this one figure doesn't want to move its leg. I, I checked a couple of these when I first got this opened up. Try as I might, it doesn't seem as if they have any leg articulation. Don't cry foul. Don't say, well, that's ridiculous. They should have really posability in the legs. Again, I don't really think that they need to. For exactly what they are doing, for the fact that they are just recently born, they're baby turtles now, and for the fact that you are displaying them with food items, I really don't think that they necessarily have to have leg articulation. How crazy are you going to get with the posability on these four baby turtles? Though they're not really at the same point of the movie as the mutagen canister, those would be the smaller turtles. It's nice to have these guys paired up with the canister behind them. That's probably how I'm going to end up displaying them. I love for the fact that NECA has given us little extra bonuses that come included with these figures. And I'm not just talking about the Michelangelo hand and the, uh, the nunchuck, which is a nice added touch. But I love the fact that they give us a pizza box, some pizza slices, and the bag of chips. All that and a bag of chips. Uh, these are really nice looking pieces. They're small, they're cute, they're poseable, and even though they don't have posability in the wrist, which I kind of wish that they did, they do everything else rather well. Um, uh, again, the nice icing on the cake on this is the fact that you get that pizza box. I think if the turtles were just on their own with a few little uh, accessories here and there, I think they would just be as good. But I have to admit, having the showpiece with that pizza box open, the extra slices, it's a nice way to display the figures. And that's probably how I'm going to go about doing these. If you guys are interested in picking these up for yourself, the Baby Turtle accessory set should now be available in comic book stores. I know I'm a little late on the game when it comes to reviewing these. I just had other things I had to get through first. But uh, again, I'm well worth the wait. I'm glad I, I did eventually get around to reviewing these. And yes, in fact, I will be having a look at the quarter scale Teenage Mutant Ninja Turtles. If you guys are wondering, yes, those videos are coming. I just have to wait for Donatello and Raphael to finally be available for, for the, uh, the stock of the inventory. I think I ordered them on Big Bad Toy Store, so they're pretty good when it comes to stuff coming in and then shipping them out right away. I sometimes have to wait a little bit longer on the wait time of delivery, but eventually when they are getting stocked and I get them, of reviews of those will definitely follow. If you guys haven't had a chance to hit that little subscribe button down below, what are you waiting for? Baby turtles to rise up, learn ninjutsu, and help save New York City. Actually, that does sound like a great idea. I probably would wait for that, but don't wait. Hit that little subscribe button down below nonetheless. And of course, more videos will be coming your way. And also, make sure you hit that bell notification. I know everybody says that. That's that's the. There should just be t-shirts made now that say, hit that bell notification. Everybody finds creative ways of saying, hit that bell notification, blah, blah, blah. This really wouldn't be a case if YouTube simply just didn't have the bell notification. If you subscribe to a channel, that should really be good enough. But I know this changes are always a, a plenty so hit that bell notification hit that little subscribe button and also while you're at it head over to my main page that's kind of like the thing that this is my new campaign for 2018 to guarantee 100 that you're seeing all the videos that are coming onto this channel make sure you head over to the main page and scroll down the section that says videos that's the easiest way for you to know if something you have maybe missed along the way and feel free to check out those videos got more NECA toys and other videos coming your way, so stay tuned for that. As always, thanks for watching, guys. I'll see you next time.